Hey guys, welcome back to Homesteading the Right Way. Today we are in the kitchen. We are going to make a meal that I kind of haven't made before. I've made it before, but with chicken. But today we're using a different special ingredient. We are using um, turtle meat, snapping turtle meat from um, Kinfo Farmer Georgia, my dad, the, for those who don't know. He has been doing lots of trapping videos and catching some snapping turtles. And so he harvested the meat from some and he really wants us to do a turtle pot pie. So I'm really excited about this. I hope it turns out really good. I'm sure it will, but um, we're gonna try it out and see how good it is. So um, here we go. Okay, so. How we're going to, we're going to cook our turtle meat first. And this is how I've decided to cook it. Um, it was my dad's idea. We'll see how, I think it's going to be good. Um, because you could boil it if you wanted to, or I'm sure there's other ways to cook turtle meat. I really haven't cooked turtle meat. Um, my dad has. But he was thinking that if we used the Instant Pot, that maybe it would make it a little um, more tender, which I think it should. So we're going to try. And I'm just kind of guessing on how much time to do it and if it doesn't turn out um, as tender as I want or all the way done then I'll just close it back up and we'll start it back up so um, I'm doing this kind of early in the day just to give it a little trial and error and make sure I do it right so I have this whole bag of turtle meat I'm guessing it's probably like maybe two pounds um, and I looked online and people were saying to do for like chicken breasts to do like one website said three pounds for ten minutes I'm going to go ahead and do 10 minutes on it since I don't exactly know how much the pound is and I want to make sure it's really tender. I'm going to go ahead and do 10 pounds on it. And if you don't know what the Instant Pot, I've got my meat in. Let me show you guys. i got my meat in and what I'm going to do is I have some leftover bone broth in the fridge from our chickens. And so I'm just going to pour that in there. You technically only need like a cup of juice I'm gonna just pour the rest in there because it's gonna go to waste if not so I'm just gonna go ahead and use all of that I'm gonna get my lid on one moment okay I got the lid on I had a hard time for a second okay got the lid on make sure you close it if you've never used an instant pot make sure that this little stopper is on seal and then I'm going to, where is it, I'm going to click manual, and it's on 45 minutes right now. I'm going to go all the way down to 10 minutes. Oh, keep going. 10 minutes, and then you don't have to press anything else, and it should start. And you really got to kind of give it extra time with um, building up pressure. It's not going to take just 10 minutes. It has to take probably 10, 15 minutes to build up pressure. And then once it's gone through the 10 minutes of cooking, then you can either quick release it by flipping this little thing off and a lot of steam's gonna come out. Or you can let it natu naturally release for as long as you want and then flip the little stopper thing. So anyways, we're gonna let this cook and we're gonna come back to it in a few. Okay, so now we're gonna get everything ready for the rest of the recipe. Um, I'm going to peel a bunch of potatoes. This is really optional. It just depends on if you want to, and this time I decided I wanted to, so whatever you feel like. Okay, so now I'm slicing up carrots. The recipe calls for one and three fourths cups. I'm just kind of cutting them in big chunks, but you can cut them however you want. Cut 
Cover the carrots and potatoes with water and then bring to a boil for about 8 to 10 minutes until they're soft. Melt one cup of butter in a pot. Then you add two thirds cup of onion and just let it cook for a few minutes until it's soft. Then you add one cup of flour. I'm adding two here because remember I'm doubling it. But a good rule of thumb to follow when making a roux, which is what I'm doing here, is um, using a one to one ratio. So since we did two cups of butter here, I'm doing two cups of flour. But if you use one cup of butter, do one cup of flour. And then I seasoned it with some salt and pepper. Then after letting the roux cook for a minute, we're gonna slowly add in three cups of broth, just making sure to get it all mixed in good while we slowly add it. A whisk would really be good here, but I didn't use one. Aha, now I found my whisk. <laughs> so now I'm just working in all the rest of the broth, making sure to get any lumps out with my whisk. Then you add in one and a half cups of milk. Now you let it cook for a few minutes and just thicken up real good. Okay, so I'm getting all the turtle meat out of the Instant Pot here, and I have to say, I did the 10 minutes and I think that was perfect. Everything turned out really tender and it was great. But obviously, you can do the same thing with chicken and it'll be so good. Then you add in a cup of frozen peas and a cup of frozen corn if you want it. And this is where I'm gonna mix it all up. And normally I mix in the meat and the potatoes and carrots at the same time as this. But like I said, I made a double batch and I just didn't have room in the pot. So I'm gonna just mix those things separate in the actual pies. Normally when I make one batch of this, I either make one big pan or two small like pie pans. Um, since I did a double batch, I'm doing both. I'm doing one big pan for us at home, and then we're gonna take the two pie pans to two different families who um, we think would enjoy trying it. I apparently didn't record putting in the potatoes and carrots, so, but they are there. And now I'm adding in all my turtle meat, and I'm just gonna mix it all together. I'm just adding the tops of the pie crust. Don't make fun of me for my sloppy pie crust work. We gotta get it done at this point. <laughs> then pop it in the oven at 425 for about 40 to 50 minutes. All right. It's a turtle. Turtle, 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 turtle. <laughs> okay, so we're done with our turtle pot pie. We got it there in the middle. Everyone's got a a good big portion of it, and we're gonna try it out and see how it is. Let me try it out. Try it out. I got a big, nice, chunky, dark uh, piece of meat. I'm I'm just gonna try the meat. I just gonna try the meat before I try it. That, I think that's the best piece of turtle. I'm not just saying that. We've, we've had turtle a bunch. That was probably the best one I had. And I think it's because of that, that, that Instapot. Mm -hmm. That's the first time we've Instapotted it. Mommy, man, that was like, that tastes just like a roast beef. Mommy, that was just like a roast beef. Really good. What? Mommy, what? Mommy, what? Mommy, what? Mommy, make this again. Oh, I do? Oh, what did you say? I need to make this again. I need to make it again? That's good. Good. Yeah, that's really good. Okay. And that was a different piece of meat. There's that kind was, of different parts yeah, of it. Yeah, there's a lot of different meats. That was a little stringier. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't tough. Not, not whatsoever. When I was that's breaking amazing. it apart, it was like some was kind of more stringy. And yeah, then some amazing. was like flaky. That's amazing. That's super, super good. Really good. Oh, awesome. Yeah.
Oh. Okay, we had one thumbs little, down. <laughs> little thumbs down. We had over a thumbs there. down over there. <laughs> <laughs> right out of her mouth. You don't like that, sweet pea? I don't like corn. You don't like corn. So it's oh, just like corn. Like Maybe corn. it's just the okay. corn. <laughs> All right. Well, everyone like it. Thousand thumbs up. That is really, really good. We're, kept, we're bringing home some more turtles. We're going to catch some more and put it in the freezer. That's awesome. That is really good. Awesome. Thank All you. Right. Well, thank you guys so much. <laughs> Mom over there waving. Um, thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you try this. And, um, yeah, like, subscribe, and we will see you on the next video. Right? Tell them what to do. Thumbs up. <laughs>